Hey guys, it's me, Colin. Um, I just felt like doing this, and I thought it was just really, really um, thrilling to to do this uh, for well, basically for once. And, and I found this abandoned house that's in northern Pennsylvania, about 100 miles away from me, and. And this is my third time in this house, and boy, let me tell you, this is like one of the really good ones. And yet, it it's not the most prettiest abandoned house. It's it's more so modern looking. Um, and uh, apparently, this this house has been abandoned for years and years, which I will give more more detail in the video itself. I found this house just driving on the road. In the winter of uh, 2021, just this past winter, and and I went into it and it was fine. It, I mean, it was not vandalized or like what's or whatsoever. Kind of a little hoarded. It was like, huh, okay, um, you know, like next time if I ever do decide to come back up, um, I'll just like set it up for for photos. No biggie, but. Boy, on my second trip, uh, just about like two days prior to when I am filming this right now, it is, um, it just then amazed me. Uh, I was w with one of my friends and and we went to go inside and we found out that uh, uh, it was powered. And, and then later on, we, we did, this is set up a little bit for for pictures and and then I found out something I'm not gonna say what it is but something that really blew my mind about like what happened inside that house so about two days later overnight I myself decided to, to drive all the way back up there and just did this I I I was itching to film to do something and and I did just that so I will play of what I have of, of the house and and I hope you guys will will enjoy and maybe this might be uh, something that is something yet to come you know uh, for me so it, uh, it really depends so enjoy and it's gonna be playing right now Right, we're about to come up to it. This house abandoned for maybe a few years. Don't know exactly, but this is it. Again, it has power. Basement. I might actually close the door just in case if some animal's gonna walk in. I just don't feel like shutting it up completely, but. Turn on the light. Sorry. The camera's still on the tripod. Holy shit. It legit. <laughs> uh, 
and I thought I, uh, it was gonna be creepy during the daytime, but it's it's quite quite a little bit more. My adrenaline's racing a little bit, but we'll just walk around, take a look. Then I'll show you guys uh, um, the thing that, that really had me driving here. I cannot believe this. I'm going to turn on this light for, for a moment. It's the living room. And that's whoever's child assuming probably lived here they left their TVs I'll just give you guys the rest of the tour of the house but it's quite quite something don't ever get to see much bathroom. I'm probably not going to go in there. These are the bedrooms. Still got, got quite a bit of mold getting up on the ceilings. There's a bunch of TVs in here too. Again, I don't know what on earth happened to, to uh, whoever lived here. It's like they were, they were in a rush. Very frantic rush. For some reason, they they had to bolt it, get out of here. Wow. I'm assuming that TV works. Yeah, like, and there's another one back in there. I will show you guys. The thing that really spooked me, spooked me the most. Was hearing this this answering machine right here gave me big questions as to uh, you know one moment you had somebody calling in to check on whoever was here and he did not answer and. Uh, She was just checking in. Might be playing. Alright. Alright, I guess I have to push the button, so so I'll I'll play it for you guys and just prepare to what you're about to hear.
Now, I don't know if there's more messages that are, are, are going to go through, but that's the only one that I could. I could find. Well, I don't know. That's that was just the only one that, that popped up. Apparently she was just checking in and assumingly this is just my assumptions that that she she probably came back back to the house here and realized something bad this might not correlate to the right uh, situation of whatever actually happened here that they had to leave but assuming the guy was was here or like somebody got killed here or somebody went missing or it's just not out of the question that this house is actually haunted um, I do believe in uh, in the paranormal and stuff like that but uh, yeah well, it's it's just more questions than answers. It's all quite a mystery. First time uh, I was in here. This is my third time. And uh, first time was was back in, uh, in the winter, maybe about six months ago. And and uh, I didn't even know that this had had power. And uh, for you guys wondering. Uh, I just came to the conclusion that the reason why the services are still working here is that there might be a bank account that's not closed. It's not closed um, by one of the people who who is uh, in charge, uh, who is being billed the these services, and. Uh, Those services might be connected to an, an auto pay of some sort. So the bank account, you know, somebody's still paying for this. And they're not going to return. Not that I know of. This is just one, one of the more crazier houses that I have been into just because of that, that answering machine. So... All right, guys, I found some possible clues uh, maybe when this place had been abandoned, but I'm looking at some of the stuff that has been here up on the cabinets, the food. So I'm looking at the expiration dates to get like some idea as uh, when they, uh, they would have left. Um, yeah, f for example, this, this expires, if you guys can get a good look at it, the 5th of March of 2006, right there, 5th of March 2006, the Jif peanut butter expires in April 27th, 2006. Uh, macaroni and cheese, September 29th, 2004. That's the same one, 2006. And I don't, some of the stuff don't, don't have an expiration date easily seen, but I got that. And this right here. It is like a little planner uh, from Knobles, actually. Uh, yeah, yeah, this house is up in uh, Pennsylvania, but you know what? It's 2005. 2005. 
it's it's quite quite a long time since this has been abandoned. Possibly for like was it sixteen years? Sixteen years maybe. And there's the guy's checkbook. But if that's correct, this house has been staying up really pretty good. Um, even just with the power. I have no clue who is paying the power, but it's, it's still running. It's It absolutely blows my mind. Blows my mind with this. Um, Alright, I'm... I guess I'm gonna go though. I've been here for like way over an hour doing some sh shoots, well, photos and and just recording this. Hopefully this comes out as a really good video and and I definitely want to do video from do a lot more filming so this this is great. So all right, I'm gonna get out of here.